Those should all be squared, nice and squared. Looks good there. Yep, professional. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Little cedar update coming at you. So figured I'd throw a short video together of what I was doing as far as my plan. Um, at this point, the cedar is not working yet. I guess that will be for a future video and you guys will find out why. So appreciate you guys watching, like and subscribing, everything, all the support, all the comments. But let's dive in and see what I was doing in this episode. Figuring out the cedar. So I got all the pieces to mount on that. We got all the metal to do this and get the motor on here. That's our priority. Yeah, we'll we'll figure something for that. But hydraulics, we're gonna run with hydraulics. You guys talked me into it. Enough people said you gotta run hydraulics. You gotta do this, you gotta do that. So we will see. It doesn't take that much. And I'm thinking now I'm probably, because I don't have my big tractor, at least not right now, we, it's on the list that we're gonna run it just by itself. So two remotes, nothing too crazy. So that hopefully this works. We'll find out. I'll get that truck parked out back so it's out of the way, and we'll dive into that. We will see how far we're gonna make it tonight. It is. I don't know if it's six, almost seven o'clock. Just past six. So we got a. We got two pieces. Let me show you what we're doing. Bam! Another one goes over there. And then this long section goes across the front, holds this on. It should put us far enough out where it all slides together. Then we can tighten those. And then, voila! And I don't think we gotta reinforce it or anything. Honestly, this spinning around. Like it, there's, it's not like an abusive environment. Um, so hopefully. And then, yeah, so gotta cut this piece to fit right in this ring. So how we're gonna do that, we're gonna find the center of this. We need a hammer, it's right there. I'll pop this off. Well, these two sides pretty straight. Do our best we can. Yeah, I do got a square for that. Okay, we'll square it up. Um, do that on both sides. Mark where this center of the shaft is on that piece. Cut it out. That will give us the middle. Then cut the outside out. Put it together. Right? Not that hard. Did I lose you guys? I might have lost myself. But let's do that before. It's too dark. We are working in the indoor shop. No longer in God's shop. Well, depends which side of the line we're on here. But well, yeah, I got lines. I got everything to make that work, except maybe I don't have enough hose. Uh, they were supposed to bring me, they were supposed to get me more hose, but they never, I called them and they said it hadn't come in yet. So that was odd. Maybe I got enough hose with the 100 foot. I don't have enough hose with the 100 foot, I don't think. There goes nothing. That's how we weld. Decent. Weld the inside. Those should all be squared, nice and squared. Looks good there. Yep, professional.
got to move the coupler over, but we're looking pretty good. Going to drill those holes. I figure I'll have it that. Maybe I'll point them, flip it around. But brothers over here. Doing a little fabrication work here. A little plasma cut in action. Welds are looking good. There it is. I got 14 foot of hydraulic line, which will be more than I need for all the way, even if I run. I went up instead of going down. Just convenient. I figure I'll probably have something that holds it right there then runs down and it will run along the tongue of that. But we are in there. So this pump was the highest RPMs, max RPMs that I could get off of Granger. Hopefully it works the way I want it to. We can regulate flow through here via tractor. And then we got a little gauge right there that's gonna tell us where we wanna run. So when the motor was running good, we were between nine and I think that's 13, cause that's 15. I don't actually know what that number is, but that's what we're gonna work off of. So if we get back up in that range, then we'll be happy. But built this little box up, got the connector in there. I don't know if you guys can see much. Let me grab the light. So built this box up, got the connector in there. Hoses on, ends on. So realistically, other than I gotta drill one pin through this gear because it's not actually connected because we flip some things around. And we gotta do the hoses, of course, and wire this wire so this wire goes to these clutches here each side has an electric clutch on it that actually allows it to start turning so we got to do both of that and then we'll be should be pretty good so we might do some of this in the morning and then i got to dive into manure hauling hopefully that's my plan tomorrow is saturday the 9th so all righty that's enough wrenching for me it's like 9 9 30 i'm gonna go home yeah so appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget duffyag.com. You can get some merch. Yeah, it should be like two and a half weeks. I get it. I'm going to get them out the door as quick as possible once I get them in. Uh, but this is allowing me to know if I'm going to need more right off the back. Because if I wait and I do them all, then you're waiting another four weeks, if not more. So yeah, but all righty. This project's getting closer, which I I appreciate the input from all of you guys, the comments. Yeah, we want hydraulic drive after all. So probably be better off in the end. Alrighty, I'm getting out of here. Appreciate you guys watching, liking, subscribing, dropping comments, telling me what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right, everything. Have a good one.